Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. I'm sure you've heard about Office 2013 coming out. You know, they have a new Word, new Excel, new PowerPoint. Everything's being brand new and revised. Um, it's been designed for tablets and things like that on top of working with your desktop as well. Um, today we're going to take a look at just Excel. Um, Excel 2013, we have the preview version, so we're going to show you a little bit about that, how it works, how to get up and running, some of the cool changes with it, take a look at the new interface and things like that. So let's get started. Alright, so with the desktop of Windows 8, if we wanted to open up Excel, we will click the Windows key on our keyboard, we'll scroll over to where Excel is, up at the top here, and we'll left click on it. This will open up the new interface for Excel. These are where all the templates are listed. This is what you'll see when you first open Excel or anything for the first time here. And you can go through and select a template. Let's say I want to look at some flowcharts. We'll left click on that. This will bring up just kind of an overview for those. Uh, for this specific template here, you can see who it's provided by, what the name of it is, a uh, picture of it. Some of them have some extra pictures. You can scroll at the bottom. And here, we'll just click on Create to start it. And it'll download the template, and it'll bring you over here. And from here, you can go through and adjust like normal. Um, still pretty similar to the previous versions of Office. Once you get to this area here, still have your ribbons at the top. Still have all of your tools, things like that. If you want to save it, it looks slightly different. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Let's say we've already edited it. We'll click on File. And we'll go to Save As. Still pretty similar so far. But once you get here, you have three options. You can save it to your SkyDrive, which Office is attached to in the new 2013 edition. You can save it straight to your computer or your flash drive or wherever you have it and want to save it to and you can add a different place, different SkyDrive account, things like that. We'll just save it to the desktop for now. Pretty similar as before, we'll just pick a name, Flowcharts1 works for now, and we'll click save. And it saved it, so we'll go ahead and close out of it and we'll see it right here on the desktop, Flowcharts1. We'll double click on it and it'll bring it back up right to where we're working on. As you can see, it started here, but when we saved it, it was here. A nice feature about it is it saves the last place you were working on so that you can come back later and continue right where you left off so you don't lose your place and things like that. So kind of a really new, nice new feature with it. Um, from here, we're just going to go ahead and just take a general overview of all these um, ribbons up here. Still have your insert tab, all the stuff there, page layout, things like that are all pretty similar as before once you get to this point. The main difference is that it's attached to your SkyDrive account, the new templates, you can even search for templates, things like that. But other than that, it's pretty similar once you get in and start working on it. It just looks slightly different, which is kind of nice, I think. Nice little change for it. So that's pretty much a general overview for Excel 2013. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.